I'm not thinking clearly. Alexis? Son? Son, is that you? Dead Space Aftermath is an animated horror film that takes place in between the first two games. It was released direct-to-video in 2011, with its sole purpose being the promotion of Dead Space 2, which was released on the same day. I really enjoyed this movie when it came out, and after re-watching it years later, I think it still holds up. Now, if you haven't played Dead Space 1 and 2, you may not find it nearly as entertaining as I did. The story begins in media res with four survivors being rescued from their ship, the USG O'Bannon. Each survivor is interrogated and tells their story of what happened leading up to the rescue. In short, they were sent to collect fragments from a statue called the Marker, but some were driven mad and sabotaged the mission, causing the ship to be overrun by a horde of demonic creatures. There's two The animation style switches from 3D to 2D during the flashbacks, and to illustrate these different perspectives, each vignette has a slightly different 2D animation style, with the last one resembling Japanese anime and being the most obvious change. Get out! Get out! Shut the door! Not only does the animation change depending on who tells the story, but so do other smaller details like the look of the spacesuits, the appearance of characters, and the way the characters act towards each other. It makes sense, if you heard the same story from four different people, you'd get slightly different renditions of what happened. This is really noticeable in the last two stories by Nolan and Isabel who are involved in a romantic affair. After we found the shard in Aegis 7, Nolan started acting strange, erratic. It's not huge, but it's a nice touch and way more than I'd expect from a movie that's basically a glorified cutscene. Aftermath cost 2.5 million to make and it's impossible to tell how much it made. Probably not much since it's free on Tubi right now, but that's okay because it was made to promote the games, not really turn a profit. The movie doesn't have a rating, but if it did, it would definitely be R. There's nudity, strong language, and plenty of gore. Omar, above you, look out! Omar! It's dead space after all. Watching it this time, I really picked up on the Lovecraftian motifs. The non-Euclidean geometry of the marker, the disfigured hunks of flesh and teeth with a metaphysical connection to ancient aliens, the sect of unitologists that worship these aliens, believing them to be the creators of humanity. The movie takes a sci-fi setting and coats it in cosmic horror, which is my favorite kind of horror. Jump scares are fun but fleeting. Cosmic horror has that lasting effect. It's the fear of the unknown and the realization that there are things out there beyond the comprehension of science and religion. It's a theme that works best in literature. Conveying it in a video game or movie is challenging, and Dead Space Aftermath only touches on it. Regardless, it's a better movie than it needed to be. And it may be my love of the franchise talking, but I really liked this movie. Can't you see? It's already happening. Convergence is here. We shall all be made whole. Ah!